Hey Red Reelers, JC here with Red Reeling Fishing. It was my goal on this channel two years ago when I started fishing with electric trolling motors with my kayak to eventually get lithium batteries. You guys, yeah, I've been lugging that lead acid 60 pound battery up and down the stairs for two years. Then finally, guys, I just decided enough is enough. So I started looking at some of the popular brands that kayakers are advertising out there. I'm like, golly, these things are so expensive. So bling you know i'm an amazon prime member right so i thought i'll just go to amazon prime and see what they have available for lithium batteries guys i started shopping around there are great lithium batteries on amazon you guys and Ampre time is one of them great reviews for these batteries i mean there's some youtube i'll put links in the description here some youtube videos you can go watch guys where the guys tear these batteries apart and look inside and they tell you what's good and what's not about them well the Ampre time batteries are coming up with great reviews so i made the investment guys i got the ampre time 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery i also went ahead and got the ampre time 12 volt 12 amp hour lithium battery for my fish finder and i went ahead and got the ampre time uh, battery charger guys this one runs about 99 dollars. this is the 14.6 volt 10 amp charger and uh, anyhow so guys first thing that i want to do is i just want to i want to weigh these batteries and then we're going to get them charged up i actually just unboxed them they everything came in really nice boxes and, and packaging and um, got a nice pamphlet here with all the information but this battery right here comes with a five-year guarantee but they say that the battery will last 10 years you get up to 4,000 cycles out of a 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery so um, that's an awesome deal and this guy little guy right here this has a three-year warranty the smaller one and then the battery charger has got a two-year warranty but guys for the price, I mean, I'll put links in the description area to all of this over at Amazon. You can go over and check it out yourself. I mean, the price compared to some of these companies is amazing. So I'm gonna weigh these batteries in comparison to my lead acid batteries, and then also we're gonna get these things charged up. All right, guys, I'm gonna weigh these. This one right here on this side is my new Amper Time LifePo 4 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery. This one over here is my old lead acid auto craft 100 amp hour 12 volt battery so let's weigh the wet the wet <laughs> let's weigh the lead acid one first see how much this one weighs oh god that thing's heavy lead acid batteries coming in at 55 pounds amper time lithium battery 22.2 pounds all right now i want to do a I want to do a comparison on the fish finder batteries. Okay, let's do, let's do the fish finder batteries. This is my new Amper Time LiPo 4 12 volt, 12 amp hour lithium battery. And this is my old lead acid 9 amp hour battery, a uh, universal battery. So we'll do the lead acid battery first. The lead acid is 3 amp hours less than the new battery. And it is coming in at 5.2 pounds, 5 and a quarter pounds. And let's let that go back to zero. And then our uh, LiPo, our lithium battery, which has three amp hours more, is coming in at 3.3. So we got a couple pounds less with the lithium battery and we have more amp hours with the Amper Time. So the Amper Time suggested I get this 14.6 volt 10 amp charger that would work with the uh, 100 amp hour and also the 12 amp hour. Now this charger right here is super simple. I mean, I don't know that I've ever had a battery charger so simple. There's no knobs, no switches, no anything. All there is an indicator light right here that it blinks red when it's charging and green when it's finished. So let's go ahead and get this 12 volt battery set up here. It comes with these protector plugs in the battery terminal areas. So we'll take out the plastic plugs and then we have our posts that need to be screwed in here they provided for these so i have extra posts get those good and tight here for the connection and spinning around on me all right there we go okay it says we need to connect the battery before we plug it in so we'll go negative here
positive here. Okay, seems like we got a good connection on both of those. Once we get that, then we just plug in our plug. I got my power strip over here. All right, you can see there we got a red light indicating that the battery is charging. So we'll let that charge for a few hours and then we'll set up the fish finder battery and get it charged and ready to go. It has been a few hours and our battery is fully charged. We are supposed to unplug it here first and then we disconnect it from the terminals. So the 100 amp hour 12 volt battery comes with these plastic caps. This will help when we're transporting the battery to keep anything from touching the positive and the negative terminal at the same time and having a battery spark. <laughs> hey guys, nothing in life is easy, right? I am standing up on my car. Yeah, I'm way up here getting ready to work on my kayak because I don't keep my kayak in a garage, right? I have it on top of my car. So I brought out the new fish finder battery, wanted to get it hooked up with a fish finder just to test things out and see if things were gonna work and they weren't working and I discovered that my inline fuse is totally freaking corroded for my fish finders. Okay, we have a fish finder that is working. Yeah, after two hours, a lot of tools and a lot of work, I brought everything inside. I had to rewire all of this and uh, yeah, we had some bad wiring in there. So we are good to go. All right, guys, we're out here on the water. I'm getting ready to hook up my 45 pound thrust Minn Kota spot lock electric trolling motor with the Ampere 12 volt 100 amp hour. And I also brought the Ampere smaller battery for my fish finder. So here we go. First test, I'm excited. I'm switching over to lithium. Let's do it. I got the fish finder hooked up. Let's go ahead and get the battery here. This is the uh, 12 volt, 12, 12 amp hour Ampere battery. And yeah, I had to completely redo the electrical wiring connection, so. Make sure I get the right one here. The fuse is on the positive side. Well, look at that. The uh, 12 amp hour is gonna fit. It's gonna be tricky getting the fuse through though. Uh-oh. Let's see. Dude. Ah. It's a bit of a, a tight fit. Old Town didn't give us a whole lot of room here for these bigger batteries, but we got it in. So see if we're gonna power up. We are powered up, nice. These round caps on here make it easier, easy for tightening these down, just the, the initial tightening. And I brought a screwdriver, so I can go ahead and finish it off, get it locked down, get a really good connection on the battery. All right, guys, I'm out here cruising. Trolling motor's working fine with the new battery. Fish finder is working great with a new battery. And uh, I'll put links in the description area. Go over and check out Ampere Time batteries. And uh, yeah, go get you some, baby. I'm liking it. Lightweight. And uh, we're all about lithium now. Sweet. So